Hello everyone and welcome back to a um, first look, well for me anyway, at the new EPOS GTW270 Hybrid Closed Acoustic Gaming Wireless Earbuds. Ooh, ooh. This is a metal case, which they go into. And this is what one of, this is what the earbud looks like. It's a quick no, shall we? Oh yeah. If you look right here, there's a button. This controls everything. Play, pause, answer for calls, put calls down the works. These are not touch sensitive like other earbuds are. Right here is the low latency aptx dongle easy to use all you gotta do is plug it in that'll turn blue first once it's connected up to your earbuds it'll go purple this automatically connects up nothing to worry about if you want to use bluetooth hold that down for a few seconds this start flashing, go find it on your device, that'll stop flashing. Done. Oh yeah. Also make sure that your earbuds are inside and the case is open. Inside here, that's a bunch of accessories. You get a type C connection for your PC or console. This allows you to use the dongle, charger cable, different size earbuds, and a dongle case. Inside here are instructions and all your guarantees. Now comes the fun part. What are these like? Well, Bluetooth, you can use music and voice, so you can talk to people. But as you know, Bluetooth is not the greatest. But it does work. The microphone, as you can expect, is not uh, graded to what you get with um, you know, a headset. EPOS microphones and headsets are fantastic, and you also get access to the gaming suite. You're probably asking, can I get access to the gaming suite with these? Well, yes, you can, with the dongle. However, you cannot get access to the voice options within the gaming suite because the dongle does not allow for voice. You lose the microphone when using the low latency dongle. Now, do not blame EPOS for this. This is a technology limitation. It's just not available, which is a shame. I have asked EPOS if it was possible to have a Bluetooth connection uh, for voice while using the dongle as um, the primary audio feed haven't really got an answer yet but hopefully in my main review i will have the answer for you hopefully maybe an update or it's just not possible who knows sound these earbuds are i would say very high in the bass range so low frequencies for me that's perfect explosions in games sound amazing and then you got trance, rock, techno, noughties, dance music, which I quite like listening to still. Sound fantastic. For me, it's perfect. But that doesn't say it doesn't pick up the lows and the mids. Listen to the music in Cyberpunk, for example. Cyber Cyberpunk 2077. It's very good. And all the audio cues within the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or even Cyberpunk or many other games, the medium, control, all come through with crystal clarity. So overall, these earbuds do absolutely fantastic with everything. It's just the limitations that they offer. Yes, you can use the aptx dongle and you can access the uh, EPOS gaming suite and you can play with the 7.1 and the 2.1 and even create your own equalizer settings. 
but there's no way to take those settings with you on the fly, like an, on, an onboard storage application within the earbuds. That would be fantastic. But as soon as you take the dongle out of the PC, boom, you're back to standard settings again, which is a shame, because I think that would be a fantastic option. But overall, there's nothing wrong with these earbuds as per se, it's just the technological limitations. And that is what lets these down. Not a massive amount, and these may not be for every single gamer. Competitive gamers will probably want to use the low latency mode, but they also need to communicate with their fans, their comrades, their teammates. Massive MMO players that are in Battlegrounds will also want to use the low latency dongle. Again, they cannot communicate with their teammates. And that's, that's where the dongle lets you down. And that's where this, the EPOS GTW lets you down. But overall, I honestly am not a competitive gamer. And I do not sit there with a, a stopwatch wondering how, how many milliseconds are lost between my communication and an action on a screen. So for me, Bluetooth connection is fine, but I also enjoy the gaming suite for the 7.1 and in my own personal EQ. So I'm torn. Using the gaming suite makes these much, much better. Not using the gaming suite makes them okay or good. Hmm. I leave it down to you at the end of the day. They are good, don't get me wrong. But like I said, they have their limitations. Um, I would say I'm upset with that. But uh, then again, I do use them all the time. I exercise with them. I listen to music with them. I listen to audiobooks with them. And I play, and I use them for um, playing games as well. I find them more suitable because i got a little, little child running around and he doesn't like me when I have my big earphones on and he always tends to pull them off. So with these, perfect. So on that note, thanks for watching and well, I'll see you again. Bye bye.